Hello everyone and welcome back to Deathspank Thongs of Virtue. Last time Deathspank acquired the Thong of Cuisine after defeating Wharton in her corrupt cannibalistic ways. So today, well actually first, let's look at our quest because now that we've done that, there are four main quests here and all of the side ones I believe are all um, quests that we, we get on island. So Thong of Generosity, yes, Map of the North Pole. Need to find a ship. Santa Claus is a thong of generosity. The thong of lift of generosity. So, say Captain Taint down in Scurvyville says, I need rum before I can borrow his pirate ship to scout the North Pole. I guess a drink, a drunk crew is a happy crew. I need to find some place that sells spirits of the distilled nature. I hear there's a place in the town of Strumfruckle. So yeah, that is pretty much what we did last time, which is why that liquor license is a, um, was a main quest because we opened up his his bar. What was his name? W Willie? Willie's Willie's bar. And now he can sell us some rum. So we have to go actually buy it. Now I I was going to, going to do the DLC first, but I decided you know what? Let's let's do this this part first, and then we will head into the DLC. Oh look, all of all of the people are back inside here. They're all enjoying it. Sandy. Greetings again, Sandy. Goodbye, Sandy. Yes, yeah, say goodbye to her. Greetings again. Get Gre Grim Tub. Okay, his name is Grim Tub. Okay, so rum. Here it is. So now, now it's time. Look, we and we can't even drink it. Now it's time to go over to Captain Taint. Give him his room. Oh, Mr. Taint in Scurvyville. It's finally time. It's finally time for us to acquire the keys to your boat. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. You ready for this? I am so ready for this. It's going to be exciting. Yes. Look at, look at his quest. Oh, here we go. Here, here's, here's your final thing that, that you need. Greetings, Captain Taint. Hi, matey. I've got some of your pirate ship sailing stuff. I've got that rum you asked for. Ah, there be quality rum. I be taking this for myself as payment. Yar, looks like you be prepared to set sail. Excellent. Swab the decks and ready the cannons. Deathspank's coming on board. Cannons? Need I remind you that your ship-to-ship -ship combat privileges be suspended? Oh, come on. I said I was sorry about that. Don't push your luck, matey. Darn. What, what, what more does he have? Hi, matey. Oh, that's right. He wanted the treasure. He wanted treasure. All right. We, are we finally ready for this? Are we finally ready? Oh, it's exciting. Let's see what items we have. We have all this crap. Oh. There it waits. Walk slowly up to this amazing thing. Pirate ship. Just pose for it. Shall we? Look at that amazing thing. All right. Oh my gods! I've got a pirate ship! The only downside is, I can only get on or off the ship at docks. Still, this is pretty sweet. It is, it is. Sailing, travel the ocean and explore new islands. But remember that you can only get on and off your ship at one of the docks in the world. We're on it. Yes! And we can blast cannons. Let's just look at our amazing pirate ship. Look at that incredible thing. Ah. Finally. So, if we take a look at our map, we now have the whole center of, of the map, except for the, the our North Pole. 
And as you can see, there's different docks, different places to explore, and different things we can go to. But yes, time for some excitement. I, I want to get a quality photo of this pirate ship, just like this. There you go. That'll, that'll be like the thumbnail or something. Alright, so it looks like... No one pays attention to poor little me. But one day I'll have peg legs and a ship that's really big. Yaha, yaha, a pirate I shall be. I like that. I, I like that tune. I believe there's something right down here. Let's see. No, there wasn't. Okay. Just looking at the map. Is there any place? No, it like, doesn't look like there's any place down there. All right. Well, let us continue on. See what we can explore. There's an island right over here to the left. Okay, an outhouse. Skeleton Island. Let me guess, there's a bunch of skeletons here. Yep, sure enough. Exploding skeletons. Oh, we don't like that at all. Skeleton Island treasure chest key, huh? Why do they all have treasure chest keys? Is there anything really on this island? Like, some islands may not have anything on it at all. Well, this one has treasure. I see that. Me booty be sore from all this fighting. Generic pirate treasure, there you go. Well, we got it. <laughs> Perfectly generic treasure, only a pirate could want. Okay, well, we, we got that, that quest done. Let's go give it to him. That's right, we don't even need to use the boat. We could just go right back here. But honestly, you gotta use the boat. I know I didn't use it right there, but you just gotta use it. It's just so nice to use it. Go. Oh wait, who wanted the generic? Okay, it was someone else who wanted it, but still wanted it here. Okay. Here you go, sir. I have your generic pirate treasure. Greetings, pirate. I bring to you the unclaimed treasure from Skeleton Island. It's pretty boring as far as treasures go. But here you are. Arr, sweet pennies from heaven. Thanks to you, Death Spank, I feel like a real pirate again. <laughs> he gave me a grenade that I can't even pick up. All right, let's head back on our boat. We still got some other islands to check out. How our boat magically gets here, who knows, but... Yes, let's go. This is incredible. He gets stuck on rocks. Okay. Hey, there is like something right down here. I kind of no uh, notice it. What? And this is just where I am going. Let's see. Because when I go up here, look at the map in right here. In the bottom right, I see... Uh, I, I guess that's just where we came from. Yeah, that's just where we came from. Alright, another island here. X Island. These, this is where all the mutinous pirates went. Aren't these the guys that, that I took all of their skin off to make a map? Are these the same guys? If so, you kind of suck, man. Is there anything on X Island? Well, there's a gigantic X. Oh, there's a big old pirate. Mutinous pirate captain. Captain Taints, $16. Okay, nice. Now we have this quest complete. 
You know what? I should just complete all of the island quests and then just go turn it. Well, actually, I don't know, because I don't know how many quests people have outside of the island, but let's just keep going. There's another island right up here. Oh, I just love the pirate ship. The pirate ship is just so cool because the anticipation to actually get into this pirate ship is just so long, you know? It's like you wait the whole game. Chicken Island. Chicken Island. Oh gosh, look at all the chickens. Chicken Island is kind of tiny. Not too much going on on Chicken Island. Oh, we. Oh, a parrot! Parrot part. <laughs> parrot parts! That's always nice. Oh, we got another chest piece. We got some sick loot here. Wait, 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 wait. Is this a spinning, is this a spinning tomahawk? No, super spinning tomahawk. 862. Oh, yes. I love the spinning tomahawk so much. Should have burned up the chickens. I'm gonna burn up whatever enemy I see next. I have so many potions I need to be using them. I have so many other weapons. We just we could just un unload it all on Santa Claus. This is what is what we can do. Okay, so who wanted the, the pirate? Uh, yeah, look, we completed another quest there. Okay, so there should be one over over here too. Another island. Loves, I love sailing the seven seas. It makes me booty hurt. There you go. Excuse me, sir. Oh, this is this is that Green Island, so we can have another Green here, the Green Queen. I should have used it on her. Okay, what's this? The Green Island outhouse. These enemies are a little bit tough. Okay. You need to eat up eat up your fries. No. Darn it. Okay. Oh gosh, darn it. Well we do spawn right there, so it's not a too it's not too big of a problem. We just dropped some of our our cash. Look at all that all of those stacks of cash that that you dropped, Death Bank. All right, eat up your fries, eat up your fries. Okay, he's done with the fries. What's the next thing to eat? Well, we have... We have some tacos. Tacos do not heal. Why do they... They, they heal a small amount. Okay, I use my stealth potion. Alright, is that all of them? Okay, I think it's all of them. No, there's some more down here. Okay, let's open up the treasure chest and then we have to do this green queen, which they tend to be pretty difficult, to be honest. But I may want to use one of my other potions. Oh, we have an armor potion. We just got a major armor potion. That can be used for, like, Santa Claus or something, you know? Mega Tesla Rod, 920. Well, obviously. Obviously, gotta do that. I kind of want to keep this fire one because... If we go into that, those ice caves, that can actually really help us out. Okay, what do I want to, what, what do I want to use on the Green Queen? I guess some... Let's just use, use some speed potions. Thousand... Yeah, let's go ahead and equip some pizzas. Health potions. There we go. Okay. Right, let's get our mating whistle out. Oh, I don't know why, why you came from there. Oh, that was easy. The Green... The Queen Green Sack. We love a good 
Dream Queen Sack. Flip some guns. 400. Okay. I think there's a few more. Yeah, there's one more island there. Well, actually, there's one, two. There's like multiple islands left to check out. It's gonna be exciting. Go check out these darn islands. I love sailing. Love using my cannons with the fireworks. So exciting. Especially when Deathbank sings a little tune as well. Alright, what, what island is this? Shamrock Island? Oh, it's actually in the shape of a shamrock. A whole bunch of le leprechauns be here, isn't it? Yep. Look at these darn fools. Alright, that, uh, that is gone. Let's go ahead and use the other gun. Island le a Leprechaun. Is that all of them? They don't want to come out and after I just looted their a treasure. Excuse me, Leprechauns? Nothing else here for, from you Leprechauns? I mean, just imagine, if you're a leprechaun here, you think you're all safe- Oh, there you are. You think you're all safe with your- with your family and friends on this island that's shaped like your favorite leaf, the, uh... What leaf? The, uh, sh uh, shamrock. And then, some guy on a pirate ship just comes right up, uses the outhouse, and then just kills everyone. <laughs> I mean, what a what a terrible life that is. Terrible. And then drives drives away, and uses fireworks. All right, I bet this is a spelunker. This may be the very last spelunker. Like, please enter that cave. How did first of all, dude? How did you get here? That is the first question I would like to ask you. Is this the island? The cave? Cave island outhouse? Okay. This may be the last Spelunker, and this, and this is one on the North Pole. Greetings, Spelunker! Please, enter that horrific cave over there and retrieve a crystal sample for me. Alright, let's go. On a one, I, I think. Alright, we gotta use some of our other weapons. Let's use some grenades. Since these, these would not be good inside of the uh, Snowy Mountain Dungeon, so I may as well use them now. And look at that, we're almost at level 20. We also had to use some of these or Orbs of Undead Legions. These are going to be really cool. Alright, here you go. This may, this may be level 20 now. Do you have any crystal samples for me yet? Indeed! An island cave crystal! Looks good! <laughs> Thanks for all your help! My collection is now complete! Aww, oh, yes! Look how many treasure chest, treasure chest keys we have. 31. Do we really need all that? No, we don't. We don't need any of that. I should get rid of this undead sword. Okay, I think that's fine to keep. Okay, so there's two more islands, it looks like. And then we will head um, to the icy, the snowy mountain dungeon. Before we invade the North Pole, of course. This is the biggest island there is, Frosty Island, huh? Yeah, this is- this is the biggest island besides the North Pole. Oh, nice! Level up! Okay. 
the ultimate hero. Deathspank is just as personified. Your block lasts 15% longer. Here we go. Well now, look, normally in the first game when we got to level 20, our... Our, um... Meter was full. It was gold. So we weren't able to level up anymore. But I believe the DLC adds an additional level on so we can still we can get one more level up we can get up to level 21 pretty sure that is the max level Ooh, frost manure i wasn't that um strunken who wanted this yeah let's go ahead and and, and complete all these little mi mi miscellaneous quests for him There you go. And we got an extra frost, frost, frost manure for him. Manure for him as well. Darn pips. It, they just die so easily. But they, oh wow, they actually pack a punch. Yeah, they do. Alright, it looks like that's all of them here. So what is this dock up here? I, I see a dock up here. And I don't remember seeing it. This is up in the desert area. No, this is not, not the desert area. Yeah, where is this exactly? Stupid rabbits. Oh, this is right next to Strumfuggle, okay. Now where- oh, is this- I don't know where- uh, where this is. Let's- let's take, let's take a look. Oh! Well, there is someone here who has a finished quest, so I may as well just turn it in now. Well, I never saw any of this before. This is right below the- the, the uh, train tracks. I don't remember seeing these gigantic killer rabbits. Or if I did, I don't- I don't remember- I don't remember him. Yeah, I never looked down here. Interesting. Alright, Gream Exterminator, we have your final Gream. Here you go, sir. Greetings, Gream Exterminator! Here is the final mating gland, Exterminator. Well, that's all of them. High five, my brother. Yes. The lost and found is empty. All right, so we have one more island to check out, and then a few quests to turn in, and then we would have completed all of our island adventuring. Let's go. I guess the closest island. Let's just go down to down to this one. Now this one is quite a haul over there. Which is fine because then maybe we, maybe we can listen to De Despank singing. Nope, get back on there. There we go. All right, let's head up. And what happens if we do try to see the North Pole? Will we even be able to really do anything? We are approaching it. Oh, we have to map out the North Pole. No one pays attention to poor little me. But one day I'll have peg legs and a ship that's really big. Yaha, yaha, a pirate I shall be. You already are a pirate, Disbank. You're a magnificent pirate. We just go around the whole perimeter, and then we're able to map this sucker out. We got hooks on our toes and a big pointy nose. Their left eye be made out of glass. If you look at her strings, you'll make off with your team. My fearsome pirate lass. Magnificent. Magnificent singing. 
I mean, he should be like, like, like the Amer the next American Idol or something, you know? Incredible. Look at this. We can actually see the Thongolith of Generosity, North Pole Beach, Reindeer Pen, and Santa's Workshop. Soon, very soon, we're going to be invading this North Pole. Me a beard and tis much to be feared. Goes down to my knees and all covered in fleas. If you try to touch it, your hand they will munch it, and all you'll have left will be bones. <laughs> that was a good one. So the map of the North Pole is now complete. Nice, we're just turning in all these amazing quests. Alright, we heard all of his songs now, good. What island is this? Spider Island Outhouse. Oh look, this is the last one of these. There we go. That one is now complete. What else is on Spider Island besides spiders? Overweight Railroad Sledgehammer? 747, huh? Ah, uh, it's not very good. What other things can we go? I think we just throw... Actually, we have these undead grenades. Unless we want to use undead grenades on Santa, because Santa, as you know, is an undead creature. It tries to be a stealth spider, but I can clearly see it. Very easily spotted. Alright, we have explored all of the islands. Okay, let's go turn in all of these quests that we have completed and then make our way to the DLC, the dun um, Snowy Mountain Dungeon. Okay, let's go... I guess we'll go back to the piratey outhouse. There's multiple quests here we gotta turn in. There's like three or four quests here to turn in. Three quests, yep. Okay. Then all these quests will be complete, and pretty much most of the quests... It's gonna be mostly just all of the side quests will be all done. Alright, here you go. I don't know what you say, but your quest is finally complete. Greetings, Mademoiselle Drapeau. I have placed all your flags. La Nation vous remercie de votre service. Maintenant, laissez-moi seul. Nice, thank you for the epic chain of awesomeness. Chest of awesomeness, sorry. Captain Taint, here's your 16 bucks. Greetings, Captain Taint. Ahoy, matey. I have your treasure. Arg, that be good pirate and death spank. Now, leave me to count it. Go on, get! <laughs> Gosh, we're, we're about to reach the, the, the next level up here. Okay. Parrot? He wanted the, uh, the, uh, parrot. Greetings again, pirate. I have for you a bunch of parrot parts in near mint condition. Aye, many thanks, Thespank. Now, maybe those judgmental pirates will leave me be. Maybe. Major stealth potion that I already had enough of. Alright. Let's see what other quests are complete, and then we have to do Strunken's Manure. What about these? 805... 7... Eh, uh, I'll get rid of these suckers. I never use the special... These special rune stones. Ever. I've never used them. I don't know what... Special attacks can can be done with them, but that's what I do. What I do? Okay, map of the North Pole. We have that one done. Okay, so this is it then. Strunken, you're you are the last main side quest here. Look how fast we're moving. Let's go turn this into Strunken.
Greetings, salt of the earth, farmer. I have your unpleasant smelling frost giant manure. You do not disappoint, Death Spec. This is about the most perfect manure I ever done tasted. Bobblewood's days as champion farmer are now numbered. Hoo-wee! Ah, uh, the best tasting. This that is disgusting. Again, you didn't give me something that was all that great. I just get rid of it pronto. All right, why don't we go to the before we head to the snowy mountain? Let's head to. Here's this one. Let's head to the wishing well. Stock up on our health potions. Then we're going to go into the snowy mountain dungeon. Okay, that's three, two more. There we go. To be we can't carry more. I would just give her all of my wishing coins. But no, he can't do that, unfortunately. All right, so let's just make sure. Okay, a silent quest. This is the uh, snowy mountain dungeon. I must find and slay the talking tree in the deepest part of the snowy mountain dungeon. Let's see what kind of hints they would give us. I'm curious. Ice spiders and ice monsters guard the room to the talking tree. Use the proper weapons to warm up your frozen foes. The talking tree is vulnerable to cleansing fire. Okay. So as I mentioned, this is the DLC for this game. There it is, snowy. Um, and it is, uh, you do get some pretty nice stuff in here. As you can see, you would get a chainsaw. And I believe th that is the strongest weapon in the game, if not, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we will see once we actually pick it up, but... But you just go to that snowy mountain area, and then you just come right over here. Mysterious cave. And here you go. Got some ice bunnies. Now these suckers are level 18. We don't even need need to use fire. I mean, this is actually taking care of him pretty well. I remember when we were in here last time. We we were it was really hard for us. Is there a, yeah, there actually is a map of this. Okay. Ice bunny, give me those corn dogs. We can kind of set them on fire when we when we use that range weapon. Back back when this came out on PlayStation Three, this used to be a DLC you would you would purchase. Ooh, and um, it would also include a two-player character. I believe it was was it Steve? No, it wasn't Steve. It was that spider guy that attack and know the spider. I believe is what it was. Steve, I think, was just an addition to this game. But yeah, back then, you used to have to pay for the DLC. It was a, a paid upgrade. But with the Steam version, you don't have to pay because it's built in. Excuse me, sir. Would you please stop attacking me? Thank you. Nice. And Arctic Explorements, Ice Tusks. Are these even any, any good? Ice Tusk? No. Actually, no. This is a weapon. Yeah, that is, that is a weapon. Okay. I actually thought that was... Um, Yeah, okay. It does ice damage. I don't usually use those. I, I like physical attacking weapons, but this is also where, where you get like the best armor in the game, I, I believe. So we already already have the Arctic Explorer mitts. Gives us ice resistance, which is good. How much ice resistance do we have now? 58%. So when these guys attack us, it's going to do less damage. 
Because we are ice resistant. Eat, eat up your pizza. Your pizza will keep you warm, especially spicy, spicy ghost pepper pizza. Oh, the ice monster. Oh, this this guy's pretty tough. I may want to use one of my fire weapons. That that actually does a decent amount to him. Yes. What do we got? The epic helmet of awesomeness. Yeah, look at that. That actually is an epic helmet. What's the uh, ice resistant? Okay, that one doesn't have any ice resistance. You have your pizza, Death Spank. Pizza's good for you. Especially with Wario's favorite ingredient, garlic. There you go. Oh, another nice treasure chest. What we got? What we got? Demon Arm Dagger. Oh, that's to get rid of some of this crap. Look at that, all oh, the ice. We have 100% ice resistance. Which is good for Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming up. Ooh. I can get rid of this fire weapon, can I? Yes, I can. This other weapon is much more powerful. Hang on. This fire weapon. That may be good to kill Sa Santa Claus with. Don't ever say that to any anyone. Killing, uh, killing Santa Claus. Killing Santa Claus is a really, really bad idea. You don't want to do that. Unless you want to make make your friends mad. Because we have 100% ice resistance, these these guys do hardly any damage to us now. Arctic Explorer Hood. Gosh, we just keep maxing out our inventory. You know what, I'm gonna get, get rid of this tusk. I don't know, yeah. The ice tusk. Gone. So we should have like more than 100% ice resistance. We should have 150% ice resistance. Then, 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 then we actually heal when they try to do damage to us. Okay, shotgun's done. What about the flame? Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and use the flamethrower. Okay, we gotta be approaching the talking tree soon. We're almost at level 21 as well, good. You, you, you ranger, you archer. The archers are definitely just the worst. Excellent. Alright, what else do we, we want to do? I guess we do some fire grenades. We should be able to kill the talking tree pretty darn easily with all this stuff. Eat up your pizzas. Eat up your pizzas. Alright. So it looks like we have a cup here. Quiet Temple Ruin. So we're actually approaching this area. So, with this DLC, it is not just like a little small cave, it's actually a, a pretty decent sized area.
Alright, I'm gonna throw a, a fire grenade at you fools. Yes. That did tons. Epic shoulders of awesomeness. Are we able to- I really like how Death Bank looks too, all, um, with his, like, nice hoodie that he has, his ice. He's, he's really prepared. All right, max level now, level 21. No bat battler of battles. No battles too dangerous for Death Bank to battle. There we go. Everything is maxed out now. All of our stats are maxed out. We cannot level up anymore. Burn these guys. These, yeah, these the guys are definitely tough. We picked up a drumstick, but we definitely do not need a drumstick or the root beer, right? It's like, no, I don't need a root beer. Taco, I'm, I'm gonna get give her the tacos and the corn dogs. They're not gonna help too much. The pizzas and anything above, I will I will keep for now. Okay. We do have max. Let's see. I think we have max everything. Epic boots. Arctic Explorer, Ice, look at the, I've, everything's like snowy now, so yeah, I'm pretty sure we have pretty much max of everything. Which is great news. Anything else over here? Okay, good. Keep exploring. Oh, some more ice bunnies. There you go, ice bunny, you are now dead. No place for you, ice bunnies. These guys can really only be damaged by the, uh... Yeah, we, we, we have to heal. Let's get out of here. These guys can only be really damaged by the fire. I see that the fire thing kind of lights up. Oh, wait. We have... I think it's lighting up because it, it has a special thing. Let's say... Melee fire weapon and a cavalry sword. Let's actually try this. Which the cavalry sword? Is this considered? Is this considered a cavalry sword? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Melee fire weapons and tomahawk. Is this a tomahawk? Yes. We have to use them at the same time, right? But it says so. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, there we go. We actually got to see the special ability. So combining them, it turned into a spinning fire tomahawk. Okay, that was actually really, really good. That was actually really, really good. I really like that. Okay, so I kind of am upset that I haven't been able to uh, do that all this time because... I never ke keep those weapons, but then, but then again, you get so many darn weapons. Honestly, it doesn't even matter. Oh uh, look, we, we did it again. Yes. Now I won't stop doing that. I, I, I will not stop using those abilities now. That is incredible. Is there another one? Is, there, is, is it like a test uh, fire? Melee ice. 
Undead. Melee nature and Tesla. Railroad sledgeham. Fire weapon and a monocle. No, I, I got rid of some of those things. I got rid of some, uh, some of those weapons. We can't try them out, but I'm pretty sure it's just an upgraded ability to two of those. So, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Okay, we should be approaching the talking tree pretty soon. But well, the gate is locked. It's locked. We do have a... Napoleon. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna go over here and destroy your ice chickens. Oh, gosh. I did tons. Oh, look, he's level 21 as well. Yes! Yes. We just did tons of damage to that fool. By using our new found runestone ability. Which was honestly quite just epic. That, that whole thing is just epic. I don't know why those barrels are in there. Okay, we're about to approach the ruins. Is this a talking tree? Yes, it is a talking tree! Let's get rid of all of, all of his henchmen first. His spidery henchmen. Oh, darn. I don't know how he's attacking me from, from that distance. I like the little steps that are going up here. Little steps that go right up to this fool. Okay, this, this better be like the last of our... Is it the last of our... Okay, we got... 430... No, 43,000 and then... Ooh... Gosh, that's a lot of damage. Well, we definitely have to use that. Get rid of that. Get rid of Tina's... Tina the... T Tina the Taco Wench's... Item. Honestly, I'm just better just put that there. Just do this. Justice ability is ready. Let's go, talking tree. His henchmen are pretty tough. Yes, we did it. Ah, it's only a flesh wound. Yes. That wasn't too bad now that we had our burning spinning blade. Oh, posture shack. Yes, I gotta make sure that my posture is good. Thank you for reminding me. Look at that. Look at that amazingness. Okay, so that actually should be the last of all the side quests. Yes, let's go turn this in. They're just an easy way to just teleport right on out of here. That would that would be better. Oh yes, there is. Perfect. Okay. So here you go, sir. Mr. Silent Frozen Monk. I have completed your mighty quest. 
And we got this, we got Shank's Mega Bloody Motor Saw. 977 damage. Yep, that is definitely our most powerful weapon that we have, so. There we go, and get rid of this as well. Ah, nice. I'm honestly just about to keep keep this here, just put something else here instead of the Tesla rod. Cause that that fire really did come in handy. That was actually really, really good. We could we could have used some ice resistance. Well actually no, it doesn't really matter to use ice resistance ice resistance because we already have hundred percent ice ice resistance as it is. Okay. Okay, so there's our amazing chainsaw. Come here, sir, let me let me chop chop you guys up. Okay, so looking at our quest log now. I guess the only thing to do is let's go back to the general and save some, let's go back to the general and save some time. Let's go. Gosh, that that commercial for the general car insurance stuff. Are you the general? Who wants to give us some car insurance? I think we need boat insurance, actually, to be honest with you. I think we need boat insurance. Greetings, General Snuggle Wuggle Pants. I have some of that stuff you need for the big invasion. With the information on this map, victory is probable. Excellent work, soldier. You've procured all the supplies I requested. The invasion is full steam ahead, and I couldn't have done it without your help. We could use a soldier like you for the invasion. What do you say? Let's see. Sir, yes, sir, let's give them hell, sir. As long as I get to inflict bodily harm, I'm in. As long as I get to inflict bodily harm, I'm in. When you're ready to make history, let me know. We will, we will. We will talk to talk to the general and save some time. Was that the quest? Storm the North Pole. That's the next quest we got to do. That will be next time. Yes, we got to leave it on a cliffhanger here. Get rid of some of this crap first. Which is this? The helmet that he just gave us, which you don't need anymore. We don't need that. You don't need that. I really wanted to use my undead. Let me. Let's just, let's just see what it looks like a little bit. You bring it out, and you get an undead army. That help you attack. Attack, men. Attack the general. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't really care about that. Alright, so, that is going to do it for this part of Death Bank, Songs of Virtue. Next time is going to be the finale. We are going to invade the North Pole. That's, that's going to be great. That's going to be absolutely uh, wonderful. Yes, it is. So, that will be next time. Got a lot done this time. So, you all take care. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.